We're in the ballroom of the Novotel Bangkok on CM Square. I'm with the general manager, Sega Neka, and you are watching Bangkok Venue Talk. Sega, can you tell us about the personality of the hotel? Sure, I can. Uh, Novotel Siam Square is a legend in Bangkok. Uh, we've been here 30 years, but over the last uh, few years, we've really modernized our hotel. It's become fun, it's upbeat, um, lots of different areas where um, you can enjoy, relax, and of course, great um, meeting facilities. Yeah. In addition to this ballroom, what makes us a great MICE hotel? Well, it, we have a lot of flexibility here. Uh, just outside of this ballroom, I'd love to show you, but we've got a wonderful swimming pool and we've got a cocktail area in the evenings. And, and we can really cater for all types of uh, MICE events, whether it be exhibitions, whether it be meetings or conferences. Um, and, and, and then we have additional space uh, downstairs with natural daylight. So we've got a lot of choice going on all around the hotel and it can fit daytime, evening time, and a variety of clients and their different needs. I know we're very strong on food and beverage at the hotel. What's your favorite dining experience? David, that's a really unfair <laughs> question. I, I, it would be really hard for me to choose because we've got some great venues downstairs. We've got the square with the all day dining and uh, really popular buffets. We've got Lok Wa Hin with our uh, dim sum buffet. And we've got gourmet bar where we're changing the concept all the time. Um, we've got a variety of menus, uh, bar menus and snack menus, but we, we're always changing the theme around uh, some of our uh, promotional menus. Uh, and, and they're really fun and exciting. And, and the environment is also fun. So it'd be really hard to pinpoint one. Um, uh, and I'd say I love all three. The hotel's blessed with the best location in town. You can't get more central than this. For first timers to Bangkok, um, what's within the neighborhood? What attractions are close by? I'd like to say shopping, shopping and shopping. <laughs> but really, there's so much to offer. There's so much food around. Um, choices of food is, is, uh, is amazing around Siam Square. Um, we've also got massage, we've got relaxation, we've got fun environments like laser game downstairs. And, and just across the road, you've got Kidzania, you've got Paragon, so there's, and Madame Two Swords. So, so really, you can step out and relax and, and have so much to enjoy without really going more than five minutes anywhere. So, uh, yeah, you're right. It's a great location, and of course, all the shopping is uh, is the plus, is the bonus on top of that. How do you see the outlook for the hotel industry as a whole, not just our hotel, but across Bangkok? Thumbs up, thumbs down, or not so sure? Well, I, I'm always a, a, a positive on this, and like to think the cup is half full. Um, we have challenges next year. Uh, we have a strong Thai bar. We have a potential global recession. So we, we've got some challenges coming up. I would like to think that you know, Bangkok is still an interesting destination for us and it's still good value for money despite it being uh, more expensive than usual. Uh, so let, let's see, I wouldn't hold my hand out and say it's going to be fantastic, but I, I remain positive that you know, we'll continue to drive business through into Bangkok because it's such a popular destination and will remain so for a long time. Sakaneka, general manager of this fantastic hotel here, thank you so much for meeting with us today and thank you for watching Bangkok Venue Talk.